Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you some more Madden 18 money plays. We got a full scheme today. I asked you guys in the last video if you wanted to see, uh, you know, individual plays, considering it's a new year. Maybe just I, I don't know. I, I usually put out full schemes. Um, which, you know, it's, it's part of the appeal of my channel, I think, because I'm one of the few YouTubers that does that. Uh, and I asked you guys if you want to see that, you want to see individual money plays, and, and only a couple people responded, but they all said they wanted full scheme. So that's what I got for you today. Um, this year, it's recorded a little bit differently because I'm, I'm working on the Xbox. I typically record on PlayStation, so it's going to look a little different, but that's okay. I'm making, it, I'm making do with what I can while my EA Access is out there. Uh, the first play that I want to show you guys, though, is the PA jailbreak screen at the bottom there. I can't say that I've seen this. I saw this formation last year, but this particular play, I did not see this last year. This particular play is outstanding. It's very unique. It's gonna catch your opponents off guard. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Um, right away, there's no adjustments I can make. I couldn't even make motions. Last year, a lot of my screenplays, I could motion guys. They took that away. So you can't, they took away the ability to make audibles and then they took away the ability to make motions. So you have to run it just like it is, but there's a couple of good options in the play as it is. The number one one though is uh, the number one one. The first one is this uh, is the uh, X route there, which he didn't make a, a too much of a play there. Uh, the number two route is the A route. You see, like a cover three, um, he's a good way to keep balance on the play. You can throw it to the tight end on the other side, especially for a fast one. Uh, but the big play is definitely to this screen. Uh, it's just the way that these linemen pull out. They're going to catch your user middle linebacker opponent so off guard. Just saying to get a nice big play there. You want to make sure you have a nice fast receiver. Uh, running this because you need somebody with a little bit of wiggle um, as you see I hit the tight end there again I mean the tight ends a pretty good route. It's obviously not as big of a play, but keep that in mind You want to keep the uh, your opponent off guard uh, But this guy right here. I mean look at the way that these linemen, you know, it screens are, are subjective It's all about your blocking if the blocking's there. It's gonna be great if it's not it's not gonna be that great Like it wasn't there um, The streak route actually works kind of good this year too for some reason uh, as I hit it there real quick um, but either way, uh, it, like I said, it's all about this screen. It's just the way this screen works. The left tackle just takes off uh, right as the play starts. He almost looks like a tight end running a flat route, uh, which doesn't really give the play away. Like the old animation, all three linemen would pull off at the same time, where this one, the left tackle shoots out, the guard and the uh, center just slowly matriculate out uh, to the point where I don't think your user defender is going to see that coming. And if they do, they're probably going to go after the running back, but it's a play fake. So it almost looks like an inside uh, inside zone, and it's just really hard to diagnose with this new animation. Uh, I think it's going to have a lot of um, user middle linebackers confused, and it's just a really hard play to uh, cover. It's a really great disguise, great animation by EA, um, but it, I mean I think it's going to be a pretty cheap play too. There's a great block downfield as I get a, yet another touchdown. It's really like I said, all about blocking. So put that play in your arsenal. That is a heavy play. There's corner strike in this formation too. Uh, but I'll show you an even better version. The one at the bottom there, the Salem Pivot. That play right there, I'm going to have a corner strike in that. So you're going to have a little bit more options. And the route, the, the red route that they have there is just like 10 times better, in my opinion, than what the corner strike is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a really good variation here. Real simple, you want to put your um, uh, your uh, tight end there, your uh, Selleck 89, the slot right there. You really just want to put him on a slant. Uh, now, pretty much every... Uh, you know, there's a couple different variations variations to run this play, but putting that tight end on a slant will be part of it every time. And the reason is real simple. It basically creates a throwing lane for the B route. Now here I'm gonna couple I'm gonna do a couple different things with this running back. You can leave him in the block, which to me is the best way to do it, uh, or you can put him into a wheel route and then move him in the line of scrimmage. You're gonna see here how he's wide open uh, in the flats there, but I get tackled, I get sacked. That's why I'm telling you you probably want to leave him in the backfield as a blocker. But I'll show you a couple different things you can do with him. Um, you can put him into a drag too, which I really didn't address here. I basically feel like when I put him like this, he kind of stretches his zones pretty nice. He would have been wide open there too, but I read the corner strike. Um, the uh, the flat route receiver there is a really good check down, which is kind of why I don't think you need the running back because you have that going on the left side of the field. Um, now, as far as the corner strike, if you if you read cover two, the corner strike is a really good option. You can split the field in half essentially. As you see, I hit the running back there. The running back's a really good route like that, but like I said, if you're getting heat. Uh, you might need the protection. Uh, another couple things you can do with the running back. I like just putting him in a little out route, uh, which I think is really a really good way to do it. And he's just another check down. But like I said, you kind of have a check down on the corner strike side. And this this uh, B route that I'm telling you about is going to get open nine times out of ten anyway. So like I said, it's best for me. Um, you know, if, if you have 
uh, the ability to, to, to motion out the uh, the running back so you're not getting blitzed very much. It's a pretty good pretty good option to do a couple different things. Here I got him in another flat route. Um, but it's really all about the B route there, which you see gets open again. So I'm going to really focus on that the rest of this video. Well, not the rest of the video, but the rest of the uh, past version of this video. Uh, because like I said, it's all about um, that tight end. Playing that tight end off that outside receiver. Now, like right there, the tight end gets single coverage. So obviously I'm going to take the tight end every time. The single coverage man. But the majority of the time, the tight end, the way that the inside zones work this year, they cover so much tighter, and they take away inside stuff so much better that the tight end is really the diversion. Now, how many use are that? You see there, that tight end got double coverage, so that left my B route just wide open in front of the cover three corner. Um, but basically, you're reading the coverage in front of that tight end. If the coverage in front of that tight end gets double covered like he does there, if it pulls the coverage in front of the, with the guy in front of him, as well as the middle linebacker who kind of sits underneath. The animations are so sneaky this year with those middle linebackers. You'll see another, uh, actually that was single coverage again. So I'm reading the tight end. I see single coverage, I'm going to that tight end. I could probably went to the B route, but the safer bet is the tight end. So the second I read that he's single covered at the tight end, if I see here, it looks like that guy's sticking around, so the linebacker double covers him, tight end's not taken away, I go right to the outside receiver. It's that simple. Um, as far as how you're splitting the field in half. Now that B route beats just about everything unless there's a guy sitting underneath him. That's why that's why I have the slanting tight end to, to make that window. But that B route will be man, cover two, cover three, uh, cover four, cover six. It doesn't matter. That that route is just dirty. I don't know what it is about that route. It just basically the cornerback is just behind him waiting to get beat. That's as simple as I could say. Um, and like I said, the, the, the real MVP of this play is that tight end pulling uh, pulling the coverages. So there, I, I diagnosed cover two. So if it's cover two, you can go straight to the corner, uh, the corner strike side. And uh, if it's man, if it's man coverage two, the corner strikes can be really good. Uh, it's really good against man this year. Uh, you can see how the the receiver gets open almost immediately in the middle too. It gets open at different times because of the stack formation. Uh, the X route just kind of comes up there. Um, but like I said, the B route is really money. I mean, you can simplify this play and just look at the two receivers on the right side, and it's going to be money every time uh, if you if you do what I say. Like I said, watch the tight end. If it gets double coverage, the, the B route's going to be wide open. It's that simple. And here I slowed it down so you can see how that dude's just ankles just get broken. I mean, the, the cornerback just has such slow reaction time to the curvature of that route. Uh, it's just ridiculous. So, and like I said, you got the corner strike on the other side, which is obviously uh, a Madden community favorite so um some really good plays all around on this play but like i said that b route there's something i don't want to say glitchy but there's something really uh, funny about that route so i showed you guys a screen i showed you guys a really good pass play now i'm going to show you a run play to kind of complete the trifecta those are three of the best different types of plays to run because um, they're all so different and they're all so unique uh, this formation has a really good uh, two run plays really it has an inside zone and it has a halfback quick base so i'm going to show you both uh, really quickly because I'm not trying to make this video too long, but uh, I'll give you a couple of tips on how to uh, run the ball this year That really makes um, You know running uh, Effective there's there's some techniques to it that I'm already finding so I'll give you guys a couple of tips on how I've been running the ball and how it's been effective I really find that uh, The more you move the running back side to side the more elusive the running back is if that makes sense um, But as far as the inside zone goes you're really just reading what's in front of you I find that this works best between the left tackle and the, and the left guard as you'll see, I take it out there quite a bit. I move the tight end in there. Uh, it helps a little bit. You saw that it got to the, it got the tight end blocking to the middle linebacker's level a little bit quicker. But like I said, this read is really in between the left tackle and the left guard. Uh, the quick base play, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, is very similar. But every time, I basically stretch it to that left tackle, left guard gap, and it's a much bigger run. I think before it was kind of in between the guard and the center. Uh, but now it's a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit further out. The quick base play... Uh, like I'm telling you, that one there too um, has a pulling guard, which doesn't always get out there. But you see, um, the, the the area that I'm running to is essentially the same, except I'm not running in between the left tackle and the left guard as much, unless uh, the the pulling lineman comes over in time. There, he didn't get out quick enough, so you can't rely on him. You're really reading what he does. There, he didn't even come over at all. Uh, but you can still see there's a huge gap, a huge hole, and I think you can get a little bit further wide on this play and probably a little bit more big plays um, as, as I read a really nice block there by my receiver. So that's it. That's the play. Uh, if you guys want to see more out of the Niners playbook, it's a completely new playbook. Hit the like button. I like messing with new playbooks, obviously, because I did a lot of stuff uh, from last year 
uh, you know, in a lot of the playbooks that are kind of the same. So that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moish it out.